Hey guys, lesson three of chapter 24 for Bible, ready to go. I want you to follow me up here and we're going to talk about a couple of things. And we talked about this in class a long time ago. Um, so you might uh, recall a memory of us talking about it. You may not, that's okay. Um, so I want you to look at these words. There's two groups. There's one up here in red and one down here in black. In this group, the words are cake, presents, decorations, friends, and family. Now, there's a lot more I could add to this list, but just for time's sake, we're not going to do that. Um, what do you think might be going on here with those words? What do you think? Cake, presents, decorations, friends, and family. Maybe a birthday party? Is that what you're thinking? If that's what you're thinking, you are right. And I'm just going to abbreviate this B-Day party. How about on the bottom, the words in black? We have a plane ticket, a suitcase, Bible, and prayer. Where do you think we might be going? There's probably some more things you would take, but this person is going on a mission trip. So, with that being said, do you guys remember the word equip? Equip. What does equip mean? Equip means to provide what is needed for a certain purpose. So we need these things and maybe some more for the purpose of having a party. We need these things for the purpose of going on a mission trip. So what have we been talking about the past couple days? The Holy what? The Holy Spirit. So are there things that we need God to help equip us so that we can be better Christians? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we're talking about today in our lesson. So Jesus told believers to go witness and make disciples. He knows that believers need help and they can't do this on their own. And we're going to talk about Peter today. Remember Peter was afraid? Okay. Um, he gave us the Holy Spirit to always be with us, to give us power and equip us as Christians for the task of witnessing and sharing the gospel. Okay. So remember back to right before they killed Jesus. He said, one of you is, your, or Peter, you're going to deny me three times before the rooster crows. Did Peter deny him three times? Yeah. He said, I don't know him. I don't know him. No. Yeah, you know Jesus. No, nope, I don't know him. He denied him not one, not two, but three times before the rooster crowed. Why? Do you think he was afraid? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He denied he knew Jesus, but with the Holy Spirit's help, Peter became bold and preached to this huge crowd. Remember this large crowd, more than 3,000 people, and they all gave their life to Christ. Do you think Peter, even Mrs. Connor, do you think I could, I mean, it's all I can do to get up and talk to 11 of you third and fourth graders. Do you think I could get up and talk to 3,000 people? Ugh. I could, but I would definitely be afraid. And but how would I get through that? I would need whose help? Yeah, I need God's help to give me the words, to give me um, the materials that I would need to talk to a big crowd like that. That is definitely scary. I like 11 of you much better. Okay, so I'm going to read to you a verse, <clears throat> a couple verses actually, in Acts 2, and we're continuing that. Um, if you're following along with me in your Bible... <clears throat> We're in Acts chapter 2, and I'm going to read to you five verses, 42 through 47. Then we're going to talk about it a little bit, and that's pretty much it. So kind of a short lesson today. So they devoted themselves to the apostles, teaching <clears throat> and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Hmm. So... <clears throat> the Holy Spirit equipped the new believers for their task of sharing the gospel. As they became equipped and Christ-like, the church grew in numbers. Remember, he said they're adding the number daily. <clears throat> so, verse 
So I'm going to give you um, an activity and we're going to talk about how God can equip the believers to be witnesses in this activity. So, um, listened and learned from the apostles. They grew in their knowledge about Jesus so they could tell others what they had learned. When you listen, you're learning um, or gaining knowledge. Sorry. Um, so some things, now this is a group exercise, the next thing, but obviously we're not in class. I can't do it as a group, but I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that Jesus is equipping us. He helps or counsels us. He gives us that. He, um, teaches and reminds believers of what Jesus said. He guides us with truth. And his promises, they're in the Bible, right? Um, he strengthens and encourages us. And then he helps believers know how to pray. He gives us the words to pray and not just any words, the right words for what that person might need to hear. Okay. Okay. That's pretty much it for this lesson. Um, your workbook page is page 95. You'll see the little green box up there that says 24.3. That goes with today's lesson. And it has a couple Bible verses for you to read. Acts 1.15 and then Acts 2, 1 through 3. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm sorry. It says, according to those verses, the Holy Spirit gave power to the disciples and other believers gathered in Jerusalem Read the Bible verses and complete the sentences to show the difference the Holy Spirit made in Jesus' followers. So that was my mistake. That's just what those verses said. You're going to read the verses listed in number 1, 2, and 3. And it looks like, yeah, 1, 2, and 3. And then, um, so you're going to complete the sentences to show the difference what the Holy Spirit made in Jesus' followers. So number 1, you're going to look up... Luke 8 verses 24 and 25 and it says instead of being afraid you're going to they spoke the word of God what and you're going to read the in Luke there and that'll tell you you're going to do that in two and three and then in number four it says to draw a picture below of something the new believers did that showed the Holy Spirit was helping them be like Jesus and that is found in Acts 2 42 through 47 which is what I just read to you so you're going to um, complete that drawing. And that's it for today, guys.